Hey, so I have another question. It's another anonymous question asking if there were any exercises or tips that I could give for first time energy workers who are looking to practice witchcraft. Um, and I guess I find that question sort of confusing in the sense of what are we defining as an energy worker? Because unfortunately, I feel like energy worker is just sort of one of those like, I don't know, those like catchphrases that gets tossed around in the New Age and Neo-Wicca and Neo-Pagan communities that really doesn't, like, I don't want to say doesn't mean anything, but I don't know, I guess from the perspective of what I believe to be witchcraft, it's like anyone can practice witchcraft and anyone can be an energy worker. So I don't mean to sound negative about it, it's just that, um, I think that we should really analyze the words that we're using and, and one of those phrases that I am really like, I get, I get icked out by is energy worker because I like, what does that mean that you work with energy? I mean, don't we all like on some level or another? Um, that aside, if I'm taking it from the perspective of you mean someone who specifically deals with moving energy with their hands or through their bodies or channels energy from a different source into the body of another person, then, um, I guess for practicing witchcraft that that's very useful because obviously, you know, witchcraft has a lot to do with, with understanding and using energy to manifest things in our lives that we would like to see changed on some level or another, although there are many paradigms that deal with that in different ways. But from a secular perspective that has a lot to do with um, raising energy from within myself and perhaps within the, the world around me to do as I will. Um, so the really basic... Um, like if you're just if you're just looking for the experience of feeling more confident in your ability to move energy, I would really recommend that you look into um, energy healing practices like Siva or Seva, Reiki. Um, even things like yoga can really help you uh, become more aware of where your energy is being put within your body or where you're moving it to. There are plenty of acupressure and and um, sort of like energy healing classes that you can take in pretty much any large city in the US and in most large cities abroad as well. Um, a really easy exercise that you can do, and this is something that I sort of recommend to like beginner neo-wicca people who really just want that experience, is that you can spend some time laying on your back visualizing different sort of like colors of energy radiating from wherever it feels heaviest within yourself. So for some people that may be your head or your shoulders or your stomach or um, or, you know, like, like the root of your body, so like your pelvic region or whatever, and then, you know, sort of think about the colors that you're seeing and then try to move that energy up and down through your body to your hands, um, things like that. But honestly, um, I think that a lot of what energy work is is just another name for a lot for a lot of principles that are called different things across different types of witchcraft, and that without going further into some sort of tenuous zone of like argument with jargon and semantics I really uh, don't have much else to say on the topic if you wanted to know more I don't know like more exercises that you could do I think that again like energy healing is one of those sort of safe spaces for all people to like learn and you really won't find a lot of judgment for people within those classes at least and you know if you do then just just don't take the class, I guess. But in the classes that I've been in, it's been a lot of beginners, a lot of people who are really into energy work and stuff like that, and certainly you will find camaraderie in those classes. Um, obviously they are going to cost something, but there are also uh, what are called sort of Reiki shares or energy circles and things like that, and those are typically free or really cheap or for trade or something that you can go to, and you can have energy work done to you, or um, people may ask you for energy work, or you may at least be able to talk to some people in your area about their experiences. Um, but if you have questions like more specifically about like a specific type of energy work and how that relates to witchcraft, I suppose I could answer it, but that's like a whole can of worms, like energy work and witchcraft. So hopefully those those suggestions are helpful to you and um, certainly continue to ask me questions about that if you are talking about something more specific. It's really hard. Um, sometimes you get questions that are just very vague like this and it's hard because I feel like definitions really change from person to person on like what energy work is, what is witchcraft, what is, you know, blah blah blah. So I don't want to say something that you're suddenly going to be like, well that's not what I was talking about. So if it's not what you're talking about, just let me know and I can and certainly like make another video to I wouldn't say correct myself but to give you information based on having more information from you if that makes sense so I hope that that was somewhat helpful